frozen trace of the love we brave And I can see your breath, but with your matches left, burn the rest of me to take an embers in the Sam, you're getting a wonderful man. I know he opens those car doors for you and he has doors on the car. This guy would routinely drive with me for nine, 10 hours, right? Just to move furniture, just for the guns. And I was so thankful because, you know, I've got an old back. But, you know, he buys her dinner. I mean, you're always buying. I don't know that Sam ever has to buy. Yeah, on one hand you can count. Yeah, so um, you know you, that's the kind of thing that just swept her off her feet. I'm sure. I'm confident that you're going to have a wonderful journey as husband and wife, and uh, I want to congratulate you. I kept on planning for this day in the speech when Sam came back to Tuscaloosa. She came back and told me she met a guy named Joe. And I kept on planning for today when she told me about the guy that she was falling for. When she was falling for a man who would drive 10 hours just to surprise her. When she was falling for a man who treated her like a princess. When she was falling for a man who would take her off-roading. When she was falling for a man who became her best friend. I'm so excited for everything God has planned for you because I know it's going to be nothing short of spectacular. I remember the call that I got when you first went out on a date with Joe. And there was something that she was just like, man, this guy's good. He treats me good. And I really am falling for him. I was so excited for you that you met someone that had just as big a heart as you did. And I know you guys will have a future together full of life, full of love. Your children will be full of just compassion and empathy for the world and will change it. Joe is the life of the party. He is the glue that holds that Jeep together. Every minute it's going down the road. Joe is a very loyal friend. He is extremely selfless. And now, Sam, you've made him an honest man. Congratulations, guys. And Sam and Joe, it, it is such an honor to sit here and to be able to watch you guys take this next chapter in your life and start a new normal. What a blessing that is.
love is doing, love is action. Now when love moves into a covenant of marriage, it's the bond that strengthens your covenant. Your covenant must be based on something true and eternal, something stronger than the way you feel each day and stronger than things that may happen in your life together. And that's why you're called to base your covenant on love. You both are giving and receiving one of the most valuable and precious gifts of life, one that I hope you'll always remember, the gift of true and abiding love within the covenant of marriage. Joe and Samantha, if there's anything you remember of this marriage ceremony, may it be that it was love that brought you here today, and it's only love which can make it a glorious union, and it's by God's eternal and perfect love in which your marriage will endure. Could I have the rings, please? <laughs> These rings mark the beginning of a life journey together. And it's a journey that's filled with wonder and surprises, <laughs> surprises, <laughs> and laughter, and tears, and celebration a journey of grief and a journey of joy. Through all of those journeys, may these rings be a sign to you of the continuing life that you've pledged to one another today. You may kiss. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Joe and Samantha Hardman.